Welcome to Prayer and Coffee. Revelation 3. I know your works, that you are neither hot, cold nor hot. I wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Because you say, I am, in, I am rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing, and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy me gold refined in the fire, that you may be rich, and white garments, that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and anoint your eyes with eye salve, that you may see. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him, and he with me. We're just a few days away from spring here in Ohio, and we're going through the usual cycle of warm days and cold nights and cold days or cold nights and cold days and then warm again. The Lord is speaking to me this morning about that many Christians have been going through too many cold spells, causing lukewarmness in their spiritual lives. John the Baptist said Jesus would baptize us with the Holy Spirit and fire. And Acts 2, there came a sound of from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and tongues as of fire sat upon each of them. In my spirit, I see that happening again in the last day church. I see a church on fire with Holy Spirit, restoring passion for Jesus Christ and for His church. Let's pray. Father, Your Word promises a last day outpouring of Holy Spirit. We pray for that outpouring, the refreshing, the restoring of fire and passion and gifts of the Spirit in local church on Community Haven this year. Let us see a passion for the church, for the kingdom of God, and for the Lord, a renewed passion for the lost in our cities. Let there be a revival that floods our souls, burns in our spirits, and touches everyone in your church. Jesus, Acts 2, says that, Everyone in the upper room was filled with the Holy Spirit. My prayer is for everyone at Community Haven be filled to overflowing with Holy Spirit this year. Our eyes are on you, Jesus, as we pray in your name. Amen.